morning. <laughs> um, today is, I think it's the 21st of September. Um, it is a Tuesday and I am currently going to the doctors to go and get an iron infusion done. My iron's been playing up really badly. Um, I don't think I've updated you guys because I recently, hang on, let me just fix up my camera, there we go. Um, I recently um, passed out, well not passed out, I blacked out at work um, and it, that wasn't very fun actually. Yeah, I blacked out at work which <laughs> wasn't fun at all. Um, I broke a big massive mason jar canister thing. Um, scared the shit out of me because my my sight was like all black and starry, so I couldn't see anything. So when I heard that like crash and break, I was like, holy shit! <laughs> I don't know why everything on my camera today just looks really bland. It's kind of how I feel like I'm how I'm feeling today. Pretty bland. Um, I have work at one, so hopefully I'm feeling pretty good with this boost of iron that they're gonna pump into me. I'm not keen to get some needles put in me, but you know what, uh, the sacrifices we make. So I'm just in the parking lot, um, and yeah, I just gotta wait for nine o'clock to go around, cause then I'll go in, get the vials, or the injections, whatever you wanna call them, and then, yeah go and get my infusion. We'll see whether or not I'm allowed to record it. If not, I will. But um, I'll talk to you guys after I get it done anyway. Um, just finished up in there. Um, <laughs> um, the length of the needle that they put in me, and I accidentally said that it was a catheter, but it's not a catheter, it was a cannula. Um, but they didn't have to use one anyway. But um, the needle that they put in me, oh my god, I shouldn't have looked. I don't know why. I think, oh, dragonfly. Um, I didn't look, so, um, yeah, I shouldn't have looked. Oh my god, I'm like all over the place now. Um, but at least my car's warm because I'm freezing. Um, the needle they put in my hand was about, like, no shit that long. So, it went in that far through my vein. <laughs> um, anyway, she took it out. I don't know if you guys can see all the blood and shit. <laughs> Um, but she, yeah, the, the nurse took it out and my doctor, um, who isn't an actual doctor, you know, just a GP, um, he was the one that put it in for me and it seemed like he did it correctly, but, um, when the nurse tried to get it out, she was like, oh my God, like he didn't do it properly. I was like, great. So, um, she was trying to like take all like the this masking tape crap off that he put over it which was fine because it was holding it in place but then when she needed to get it out it started spewing blood everywhere <laughs> um so yeah my hand was like this on the pillow and blood was just like pouring off into my hand onto the pillow and just like dripping off like going everywhere and she was like oh fuck <laughs> i was like it's okay like she's like on the brink of passing out um and um she like she had to get it out so unfortunately she was a bit rough but she just needed to quickly get it out and like stop the bleeding um which she did and then gave me this to put over it and yeah and god it made my whole arm just like freezing cold and then it became numb and then sore 
um, but that was kind of normal, they said, so anyway, um, it's only 10.30, so I have enough time to go home, get something to eat before I have to get off to work, because I really don't want to have to go to work straight away, which is good. Um, but yeah, there was a really cute male nurse that was there. Um, he was very sweet. I think his name was Josh. <laughs> and, um, oh, shit, I have to pay for my... Oh, I almost forgot I have to pay for my iron infusion. Shit, I'll be back. My goodness. Cool. So that's good. I can't believe I almost forgot to pay then. I was just so grossed out by seeing so much blood come out of me when they tried to take that needle out. I just wanted to get out of there. Um, but anyway, um, Medicare accepted my claim. The nurse um, at the counter did it for me. So I'm getting like $115 rebate back. That's crazy. So that's awesome. Um, anyway. Yeah, so I'm going to go home. <laughs> I'm going to eat something. And yeah, just thought I'd bring you guys along with me. Um, but yeah, no, it was good. Nurses were lovely. Dr. Arenas was efficient. Um, and yeah, it was a cute, cute male nurse. Um, so that kept me entertained. He and I were talking books and stuff like that. So it's very nice but he probably had a girlfriend anyway i am going to let you guys go i may or may not add this into a different into like an actual vlog itself this will just be like a little snippet so i will see you guys soon um mom and dad are just <gasps> ah! oh my god there's a spider in my car get off Oh my god, oh my god, what kind of, what is that? Ew, 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 ew. I'm just gonna make sure my windows are up. What was I saying? <laughs> okay, cool. Mom and dad. Hey. <laughs> so, I'm following mom and dad to coffee club now, and I'm so hungry. I just, I need something in my belly right now. <laughs> Um, I think I'm gonna get like a smash avo on toast or ciabatta or sourdough, whatever the fuck they call it. I'm having some of that. I do want to go to Ikea afterwards to see if I can find put in something, a little squish. He's seven this year. Why is he getting older? show you guys <laughs> my plate before I ate it <laughs> but it was really good it was really good it was yummy perfect I got an apple juice I'm happy we're gonna go into Ikea first we've just pulled into the parking lot oh. and that's just the entrance here I love this so much. <laughs> me. That's just so me.
freaking love this store. They have one at Termside. I'm currently at North Eight. Um, but they're just like this cute little pop-up store. Um, and it has like crystals, they've got incense, they've got so much stuff like mugs, books, which I am in love with. Okie dokie. So I am now oh, back in my car and just went to a crystal store, which is a little pop-up store at North Lakes currently. I think they're leaving near the end of March, so they're moving. Rude, Doja, excuse you. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, just went to the crystal and wellness warehouse. Crystal? Yeah, and wellness warehouse, yes. Um, at North Lakes and I picked up some goodies. I also grabbed some stuff for Napoleon from Ikea So I will show you guys once I get home, but I am So hot I am actually really tired and I'm gonna head home. I'm gonna continue with my washing my clothes washing um, and I am going to I Don't know. I just want to get I just want to head home. Let's go home <laughs> Please <laughs> and pretty. Need ass and titties <laughs> I have been writing my book, so I've got about, I think, 10 chapters left to write out of 40, I think out of like 43 or 46 chapters, I've only got like 10 left, which is pretty good, I'm very excited, um, that'll be my first draft done, and then I'll get on to leaving it for a while, and then I'll start doing like the proper edit of it, so that'll be a bit full on, but... Yeah, not a lot has really been going on. Like, my skin has been horrendous. Um, I don't know what to do. I've gone to the doctors. They gave me a steroid cream, and it has and hasn't helped at the same time. So, I don't really know what to do. But, like, I honestly can't wait till winter again. I, I truly can't wait till winter. Um, I'm over this heat. <laughs> um, that's for certain. But to be honest with you guys, I actually didn't spend a lot of time at North Lakes. I went into Ikea with mom and dad and then I found that crystal store. <laughs> and then that was it. That was done. I was like, yeah, money well spent. I'm going home. Yeah. <laughs> I was supposed to get my nails done. What is this? It's all right. I'll just keep having my little man hands. That's all good. My little man hands. <sighs> Also, your girl has been going back to the gym, um, and I went back once, <laughs> and oh my gosh, my whole body afterwards was, it felt like I got hit by a truck. Um, not fun. I don't recommend going back to the gym. <laughs> not at all. Um, oh, is that mum and dad behind me? It looks like mum and dad behind me. Anyway, um, yeah, so, yeah, not fun whatsoever. Um, I, like, felt so sore. Even my hamstrings now, I think it's been over a week and my hamstrings still hurt like a mother. So, I'm, yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> but I am going to go back to the gym. I just got to, like, I'm going to do treadmill because I put on a lot of weight. Um, I think majority of it's to do with like stress. So, um, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, it is what it is. I'm gonna, yeah, get on the treadmill, start eating a little bit cleaner. Um, yeah. Hello. So, I am getting ready for the day. I have cramps. <laughs> saw um but it is the first of february 2022 um time has flown life update i have like severe eczema everywhere like it is bad like i've got like this massive patch here like it's nasty all right so i am going to get ready Basically, I'm going to head to Chermside and yeah, go to Mecca, Sephora, just see what else they've got there. Um, I just haven't been to Chermside in like a little while. Napoleon's just like behind me, just chilling on the bed. 
so cute. But yeah, anyway, I have just had a shower. I am about to, oh, I also um, exfoliated my face. So I'm about to put on some skincare and then do my makeup. Yes, yeah, so I thought I'd just quickly do that here with you guys. And then, yeah, we'll head off to Chenside. I am going to use some Bio Oil and my Juno by Sunday Riley. First off, I am going to moisturize my face. I have been getting this specific reaction from using the wrong concealer um, and an eye cream. So I have found out that I am now allergic to the... <laughs> Ole Eyes Eye Cream. Yeah, not fun. But I think I'm okay in regards to this. So we'll see how I go. I'm just going to take that in my fingers. I'm just going to put that all over my face. Like so. Like it's pretty gentle. Like, like the rest of my face doesn't react to the face cream. Um, it's just that like my eye area. Like my whole body is sensitive as you can see. Now that that is all pressed in, I am going to grab some bio oil. You don't need a lot, just like one or two drops. And then you just mix in your fingers and just press it in. And then we're gonna use some of the Juno oil. So good. Um, again, I use three drops. You don't need a lot, it goes a long way. Love doing my skincare at nighttime at the moment. I'm drenching my whole face in this oil and i like lather my brow hairs and my eyelashes in the juno oil um because when i wake up <laughs> it looks like everything's nice and conditioned it definitely looks like my hairs are like really healthy at the moment okay so now i'm going to use the napoleon bbb cream which is like a beauty balm I feel like I just don't have the same energy anymore um, when I do my vlogs and I do apologize if you guys are already like, what is wrong with her? <laughs> I've just been through a bit the past couple of months um, in regards to like my mental health. It is just like completely short. Um, I'm just trying to keep myself busy. I'm currently writing my own book, which I think I said earlier in this vlog. So that's keeping me really busy. Um, and it is so much fun. It's a bit like reading, except I'm writing the book that you guys will eventually be reading, you know. <laughs> so I've been currently using the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer Concealer. Um, it is in the shade Ivory, so 322. And I've just been loving it. I really have. Um, I'm a fan. I love it. I'm not very, like, picky at the moment in regards to, like, my makeup. Doing my makeup and my skincare, getting back into that, that's definitely helped with my mental health, um, like tons, um, because it's like a regime, it, it, it's also self-care, so that just helps. And it's really frustrating because it's like only this side of the face where like, you'd think that if I used the cream on both eyes, I would have gotten it on both eyes. Just this one eye. <laughs> So now that I have concealer on, I am now going to put on a cream bronzer. I have been using, where is it? The Revolution um, by Makeup London. I don't do it to my face. I use a brush first because I can control how much I put on the brush and then how heavy I apply it to my face until it's like just like a very light coverage on the brush. And then I just... Pat, pat, and then the excess I put on my forehead. I kind of just like bronze up my nose and I bring it up into my brows. And then I just keep going, just keep stippling just to like feather out the bronzer. Very cute. All right, so done with that. I'm just gonna use a touch of this and I'm going to risk <laughs> creating more eczema on my face. Put it on the inner like tear duct area. 
My makeup is still very like minimal. I don't do a lot still. Like I like trying different things on my face, but ultimately the end product is always just very, very minimal. I'm just going to use some Laura Mercier powder and I am just going to tap under my eyelids. Again, I hardly set anywhere else apart from my eyes, around my nose, and then the excess goes on my chin. My brows actually aren't too bad at the moment. Like, they are quite full on their own. As of late, I don't know why, um, but they are looking very nice. I feel like I could almost leave them, but that's not me. <laughs> We don't live for that. So now I'm just going to put a touch of lip balm, just your pore pore ointment. Um, I kind of just like layer it all over. And then I am going to do some powder bronzer. I use the Napoleon gold sand look. I think I had a shade lighter last year or the year before when I did my get ready with me video. This is an okay shade. Like it's not too dark on me. Um, Yeah, I'm just going to tap that onto the brush. Again, it only comes off very like minimal, which I love. And I just like press that over the cream bronzer. And I just do like a very light brushing of this powder onto my nose. Blush. I... I don't know what I've been doing with blush at the moment. Like, I have a few different ones. And it is a Morphe 350 Supernatural Glow Palette. It's an eyeshadow palette. I love using items that a you know, multi-use. And these colors on my left. I mean, I think I'm going to go in with this, like, reddish tone. It looks so bright on the camera, but I swear it's not as bright in person. Um, just on my brush, just a little bit, like so, and then I'm going to dust him off. This one by James Charles, because, I mean, so I just go in again with, like, a fluffy brush, Again, with this like canary yellow and then tap off and then just press onto the lid like very subtle I'm just not into too much on the lid at the moment I use an eyeshadow from my James Charles palette to do my brows okay so like this like light shade up here that one um we're gonna use that first it's just a very light shade just to get an idea of where i'm going to fill cool just like that just like something very like thin and natural first and then <clears throat> and then i go in with a darker shade afterwards but like very natural. <laughs> um, and then usually from like the excess, I'll just like touch up my beauty spots. Um, just that they're like a bit more prominent my highlight first um so i recently purchased the mecca cosmetica highlighter Is basically that done I am going to get dressed now you know when everyone knows when they can't fit into their clothes that's when you know you put on weight no you shaking your head for 
<laughs> he's like, no. I've been using this like, it's from a Brazilian crush, Sharosa 71. You guys probably know this from like Mecca. Um, the scent in this is so delicious. I have to spray this like whenever I go out. Um, I've got my slides on. They are from Bellini. I've got my jeans on. They are from Glassons. And I've just got a little JC top on. Little JC? No, this is Dish. This is Dish. Um, and then I've just got my Desi Perkins key sunglasses on. And I'm ready to go. Turn that down. I am going to Chamside now. Um, I don't know why I did this with my hand. <laughs> we are going to the shops. Did I do my list? No. <laughs> a little bit irritated now that I didn't write it down. But most importantly, I wanted to go and see mum at work today. So that is my number one goal, sister. Also, I haven't driven on the highway for like a hot minute. <laughs> so I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> going on the highway because ever since I can remember every time I've been on the highway I've almost always had an accident so it is 5 past 11 it is currently 36 degrees outside um, and I almost witnessed about four car accidents on the way here so love term side <laughs> like three lanes over in one go without indicating and just going phew like it was just crazy um it's very dangerous <laughs> so if you are new to brisbane i would not recommend the Chermside area but we're gonna go and get some stuff done i'm going to write my list so i don't fucking forget anything and then we're gonna go see mom <laughs> okay so i'm currently in priceline and I found some brown mascara, um, but I just found The Ordinary. You guys probably are familiar with the brand, Hyaluronic Acid. Apparently it's pretty good for your face, like you could probably use it like underneath all your skincare in the morning, like, at night time before bed, but I could just like incorporate it into my, into my skincare. I think I might. Oh, and I need, I need, um, makeup wipes. Look what I just found. It's called I Heart Revolution. And all of their stuff is so quirky, I'll show you. It's like, little, like, novelty palettes. And they're all, like, super quirky. Got, like, watermelon stuff. You got, like, chocolate bars. I mean, stop. I mean, not that I need any of it, but, like... <laughs> I really want to buy one that's just like the chocolate bar. I'm walking away. I'm walking away. <laughs> so I'm currently in Mecca and um, they have a Charlotte Silvery now, which is stunning. And I was just looking at this, which is the Charlotte Magic Cream. And it has hyaluronic acid, vitamin C and E, and it has a plump effect, which is a pep peptide. 125. I'm I'm kind of considering it. I don't know if it's just like that vibe you get when you're in like Mecca or like a makeup store, you know, and you're just kind of like, oh yeah, let me like spend some money. But okay, so I don't see Tula anywhere, but I do see Sunday Riley. Basically, you've got your UFO serums. CEO Glow, your Juno and Luna. Your Luna is really good. Um, and then you got all of your other stuff down here. With but I really wanted to try the Luna Night Oil, but I, I mean, I've already got the, the Juno Oil. I don't know. I think I'm gonna end up spending too much money today. <laughs> now there is just something super cute about Too Faced so adorable but I do need the new mascara and the primer. Grab those and then I think I need to get out of here because I'm gonna spend too much money. So I'm currently at mum's work and um, I'm just out the back waiting for her to be ready for her lunch and then I'm gonna take her out for lunch. Ooh, I think this chair's gonna break. <laughs> So we're back in my car now. Um, I just had lunch with mom, which was really yummy. Um, I got a quiche and a 
We both got a quiche actually and mum got an iced chocolate and I got a orange juice. Oh, I just need this aircon to kick in. Um, but I'm gonna head home now and I might do a little haul for you guys. I will see you guys once I'm back home. Um, otherwise, I will see you in the next part of this vlog. <laughs> Bye. Today is February 2nd. It is Wednesday and I thought that I would show you guys what I got from my trip to Chamside yesterday. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you guys what I got. So, uh, first off, I'm going to show you my price line purchases. So, I got just some more makeup wipes. So, I use the Simple brand makeup wipes just because they're very gentle. Um, super good. Um, definitely recommend. I also got the... Nude by Nature Brown Mascara. So, um, it's super cute. <laughs> so, it's just like a little rose gold packaging. Very fancy. I love it. I'm going to be using this on my bottom lashes because I just find like if I use black mascara on my bottom lashes, it just looks a little bit too much. I don't know if it's just me. And then I also grabbed a product by The Ordinary. It is a hyaluronic acid 2% plus B5. So it's going to be really good to put like underneath my like creams and things like that once I do my skincare at night time. Then from Napoleon Perdis, I got another BB cream and it is in light medium. So this is the correct shade that I wanted to begin with and it'll just help like look a lot better on my skin. I don't know. I feel like the the light shade, it doesn't have as much coverage as the light medium. Get into the Mecha Maxima bag. <sighs> Love doing little makeup hauls with you guys. This is so fun. The Frank's Body Original Coffee Scrub. I have heard such good reviews about this specific product helping people with their eczema and like dryness on their skin. So, so I'm hoping that maybe if I use this, it'll help with like those little bumps on my skin that are like breakouts. <laughs> so gross. Um, and then also with like my eczema. The next product that I got was the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I have always loved this mascara, but this one is so volumizing, very conditioning, and it's just such <laughs> such cute packaging as well. Like, it's just so girly. Aisle minis, <laughs> like in the, in the lineup when you wait up to pay in like those little mini sections. I grabbed a Bobbi Brown, um, like mini pot. And it's the Vitamin and Rich Face Base, and it's a primer. Oh, cute. I love it. It's so tiny and cute. And the packaging on the top. That little, like, wax stamp look. So cute. I love that. What does it smell like? Vitamin and Rich Face Base, all-in-one primer and moisturizer. Oh, it smells really nice. It's very, like, a whipped... Looks like I like look, looks like yogurt or ice cream or something. <laughs> That's so cute. And then I also grabbed the cleanser by Sunday Riley. So this one is very nice looking. Um, it was actually pretty cheap compared to the rest of their range. Um, and it's just in like an ombre style foil packaging which i think is really pretty anyway um when i went to pick up all this mecca stuff i didn't realize that i had my beauty loop present for my birthday so what did we get this time so we've got a floral street arizona bloom perfume and it is vegan and cruelty free i usually don't wear floral perfume at all i'm a very like <laughs> vanilla -y, sweet candy bubblegum type of perfume okay oh okay that's actually really pretty what else did we get we also got a cause greek yogurt foaming cream cleanser sachet so that's pretty 
Biotics from the yogurt, obviously. Ooh, we also got another mascara. It's a little mini one. And it's Lash Lifting Volumizing Mascara Idol Lash by Lancome. Let's see what this looks like. Mm, cute. Just same colors as the packaging. So cute. Love that. Medical repair. I think it is. Yeah, it's for your hair. Cool. So it's just some little sachets here. We got a intensive strengthening mask and then also a strengthening leave-in treatment. Love that. I've been needing to like hydrate and fix my hair for a while now so but i recently got some crystals and see like those little rainbow flecks so pretty um this one is a citron raw crystal and i also picked up a clear quartz that has been slightly shaped on these sides um, and then this bottom side is like all natural because I was vlogging that day the lady that worked there She owns it apparently um, <clears throat> She gave me a free crystal from um, Just yeah, just because I was vlogging. She's just so lovely. I picked up a packet of vanilla incense Last packet so and then I also picked up this shirt that says go smudge yourself <laughs> Thing was like so well priced all um like legally sourced and it was from the uh, crystal and wellness warehouse at i think i went to north lakes but it was just a pop-up store so they're actually moving to morinfield and then they also have a core store at chermside but yeah i'm just gonna leave that there my battery is flashing now yes i will leave that there i am going to finish watching euphoria even though i hate that show i secretly love it um but yeah, I'm gonna get on to that now. And then once I've finished that episode, I'm on going to then finish the rest of my other vlog that I'm still editing that'll come up before this one, which you guys will already see. So yeah, I'm gonna go and I need to have another refill of water and I will see you guys soon. <laughs> Bye!